morning students we are going to discuss about the topic shared memory mutual exclusion it comes under unit 5 the course name is cs8603 distributed systems what are the learning objectives the learning objectives are from this video we are going to learn about the concepts behind distributed mutual exclusion and we are going to implement an algorithm for n process mutual exclusion so what is shared memory mutual exclusion so shared memory model we have two models one is the message passing model the other one is shared memory model so shared memory model is implemented in operating system with the help of the semaphores monitors and some special purpose hardware instruction so we are going to learn about lempert's bakri algorithm so lempert bakri algorithm so lempert proposed a classical bakri algorithm for implementing n process mutual exclusion in shared memory system so that is why it is called as a bakri algorithm means so in bakri for example in a food court first we have to get the token so if you are going to buy a chicken from kfc in a food court first you have to get the token so the token number is unique unique to each customer okay we have to get the token and we have to wait so the person with the minimum token number is served first so the same principle is used here also so this algorithm satisfies all the requirements of critical section problem so what are the requirements means mutual exclusion bounded waiting and progress so all the processes must take a number and they have to wait for their turn to enter the critical section they have to wait for their token so the number can be any of the global variable as i told the process with the lowest number will be processed first so if we have a tie between the two processes so then you have to go with the process id so if a process terminates before its turn we cannot start the process in the middle it must be inserted into the process queue a process queue from the scratch so if the process is willing to enter the critical section it should get a token number so the token number is 1 greater than the elements in the array that is choosing of 1 to n it is an array so it is 1 greater than the elements in the array the processor the processes enter the critical section in the increasing order of token number that is the process with the minimum token number gets the chance first as i told if we have the tie then we have to go with process id so that is you have to go with the unique lexicographic order of the tuple token comma process id in order to make a decision for which process we have to give the critical section so this is a lempert bakri algorithm as i told we have an array called choosing of 1 to n and similarly we have an one more array time stamp so the process pi executes the following for the entry section okay so they have to get the token and they have to fix its time stamp then they have to wait for their turn once it gets the turn it can execute the critical section after relieving from the critical section it has to make its time stamp to zero then it can executes its remainder section so this is the lempert bakri algorithm so the lempert fast mutual exclusion algorithm here we use wr wr mechanism so it illustrates an important technique wr wr sequence so it is a necessary and sufficient sequence of operation to ensure the safety in concurrent accesses we are ensuring the sequence wr wr and you can achieve this algorithm with the help of two registers so the basic sequence of operations are w of x 
read of y then w of y then read of x okay so first you can write the contents to the variable x so immediately you cannot perform read of x so it can be a read of y so after writing of x you cannot issue writing of y also so this is the safest sequence wr wr so using that sequence you can ensure the safety the next one is hardware support for mutual exclusion so we can use special instruction to perform two or more operation atomically so example of these instructions are test and set and swap so in the operating system itself we have studied these two instruction they are the atomic instructions okay a read and a write operation can simplify a mutual exclusion algorithm so with this we are concluding lm port bakri algorithm that is shared memory mutual exclusion thank you all